the living room is out of control. Come to the front door and there's a lot of things I have to climb over. I fall quite a bit. I can't even see there's a pathway. There had been, and when I would keep things stacked up, usually my, the stacks would go flying and I was too tired to have to pick up all that stuff again, and so I began to walk on it and it just began to build. There are a lot of things I, I was buying for donations, um, dolls and trucks and all kinds of things. And they're all donated to the Indian reservations for kids that have no way of ever having a Christmas unless they people donate something for them. Now I don't have the money, so I'm not doing it. But it hurts not to be able to. I'm Candy, and Sybil is my older sister. I think in the beginning, I probably tiptoed around it a little bit more than I do now. However, recently, in the last decade, I would say that, um, let's call it what it is, it's hoarding, and you do need help. And Sybil's response is, I'm not a hoarder, I just have trouble organizing things. I have multiple uh, health conditions. Well, I've been diagnosed with narcolepsy, so I'm on medication to be able to function and each time it took another toll on me that made it harder and harder to keep up. It's getting more difficult all the time. So the last time I slept in my bedroom, I had a mouse running over the top of me. I was like, this is not <laughs> any fun anymore. You know, I mean, I want to be able to sleep, not have to worry about what mouse is going to be crawling on me. The cat's area has become, pretty much become my primary living area at this point. I found that it was easier to just start sleeping out there. I can't say it's been the most comfortable bed, but then my bed has not been comfortable for years. But um, that's not a way to live. And winter is coming. This is a hoarder's paradise. We both feel that way. Yeah, when we got together, well, we'd go to the thrift store or grocery store and shop out. We hoard it. And together, it builds up pretty fast. It gets out of our control. I'm Christy, and Dorothy is my mom, and my stepdad is David. <sighs> Definitely having two people who like to accumulate things is a problem, because now you have so much stuff accumulated outside and inside. You know, how do you control that? I get mystified at times trying to figure out where all this stuff came from. I mean, to me, it's mind-boggling. I guess we hoard everything. Food, clothes, and wood were the three primary things. The food could be up to 10 years old. Critters and bugs have gotten into everything, and freezers full of old freezer-burnt food been in there for years. When it gets full, they just get another freezer <laughs> and then just keep adding to it. The kitchen is so full of everything that we cannot cook with the range anymore. We cook on the wood stove in the living room now. It's a fire hazard. All the entrances are blocked. I'm very worried that the stove could catch something on fire and burn down the house. To me, this place, it's shameful. It's a mess. It's not really a home anymore. It's a, just a house full of junk. The hoarding uh, was a thing that we just enjoyed doing, but we hoarded to the point that there is no room. I can't stand, I can't walk. Oh, I have to get used to it, and I have. I'm Brittany, and Dorothy is my grandmother. We have cleaned out this house multiple times, and every time we leave shortly after, it's worse. It's a disaster all over again, plus some. It was really disheartening to come back and see everything just right back where it was. And then I just told her, I'm done trying to help you. It's too much stress and pressure on me to try to help when I can't. I'm a pack rat. The, the difference between a hoarder and a pack rat is you keep it more organized. You have places to put the stuff. 
You don't crowd your house up. I'm Joey. I'm Barbara's youngest daughter. My mom's an extreme hoarder. She has pretty much everything that you can imagine. Broken, new, used, including garbage. I'm Jeff, and I'm Barbara's fifth son. When she moved into the house she's in now, that's the first time I really started noticing that she started putting stuff in that front room. And as the years went on, it just, it just got worse. When the house burnt down and I lost a lot of stuff, that started me starting to collect more and wanting more. More stuff just kept coming in. Started piling higher and higher. Last time I was in there, about four years ago, you couldn't even get into the living room. If you wanted to go in there, you would have to crawl over something. I know if code enforcement would come in there now, she's gonna lose everything. She has nowhere to sleep. She has nowhere to cook. Her bathroom is completely consumed, and she don't see that. I want to go back. I want to be in my home. It's the last place my husband and I live. I'm afraid if something falls on her, she can't get it off her. And that's my worst fear, for dying in that home, because it's out of control. On a bad day, I sit in my everything room, and I feel it close in on me, and I feel that it's suffocating. I'm Mark, and Ellen is my mother. The everything room is her bedroom, living room, dining room. She eats there, sleeps, and watches TV. I'm Doug, and Ellen's my mother. I live in the basement. 99% of the time I stay downstairs because going upstairs is like an obstacle course. There's piles of clothes, piles of boxes. It's just depressing. She buys things from thrift stores. She's fascinated with butterflies and orders things online. I'm Scott and Ellen is my mom. We tried to clean up and every time that we've tried to clean up, it's just always been, oh no, you can't throw that out. No, 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 not that. Oh, well, this one, no, 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 I need this for that. It's a lot of tension. I feel helpless because there's nothing I can do without leading to an argument. My oldest is say, Ma, hey, just keep commandeering the refrigerator. She has a refrigerator that's upstairs that's full. So my mother brings stuff downstairs to my refrigerator, and it is a constant battle for her to take it upstairs. It's frustrating because she impedes on my space. Makes me sad to see what's happened to my mom because this is not the house that we grew up in. I drank and I didn't address issues as far as taking care of the household. She's apologized and I've accepted it and I've understand that alcohol is an addiction. I had 20 years of sobriety and about 19 years of not smoking. So I've overcome those. I think she just took on another vice and that vice became being a hoarder. I would say that even though I stopped drinking, I have a drunk house. A normal person would not have a house that looks like this. Hoarding, in my opinion, is like a quiet killer. You're not hurting anyone physically. It's your stuff that you're keeping. I think that hoarding is a disease, and she has this disease. Every single room in this house is just full of stuff. There's a very small, narrow space to walk down into the kitchen. There's a couple little places where the kids can eat on the kitchen table. They play on the little section of floor in the living room. They make a space. All four of us sleep in the same bed. Our stove doesn't work, and our washing machine doesn't work. And I'm lucky enough to have my mother next door. 
I use her oven when I need to bake, and I use her washing machine to do laundry. I can't open it. I wish the house was clean. There's these big piles, and I think there's like monsters hiding in the piles, and then they just jump out and scare me. I'm Mike, and Mary is my wife. I met Mary in 1998. I just didn't have any indication that she would be a hoarder then. Things started to change once we moved to Napa. Mary pretty much filled up the house straight away, and then came the children. That's when the hoarding really escalated. She couldn't let go of the children's stuff, even though they'd grown out of it. I just feel like when I get rid of one of their things, I'm losing a little bit of them somehow. Every single thing that they've ever owned is still in this house. I do not get to have friends over. We're too embarrassed that they would laugh at the house because we got so much, so many piles of stuff. They've never had a play date here. They've never been able to have a friend over because if someone should know what the inside of this house is like. I'm scared to death that CPS would somehow find out and take my children away. I'm sad because our house is scary. Right now I have about 15 dogs and nine cats. I can't open it. I'm horrified. I'm going to have to call somebody to pull you out of there. I don't think I'm a hoarder. <laughs>